what I've recommended to people is clean up your room. This has become a, a meme, strangely enough, something that's widely distributed on the web, partly because there's a comical element to it, it's to clean up your room. And everyone laughs about that because I'm taking that seriously. It's like, well, clean up your room. Everyone's mother has told them that a thousand times, right? But I try to explain why. It's like, well, to the degree that you're in your room, the room is you. And I mean this technically, like the way that your visual system is set up is that whenever memory and presumption can replace direct perception, it will, because it's simpler. So you literally see what you expect to see. And if what you see is dull and drab and boring and pointless and, 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 and uninspiring, then that's you. Put it in order, because the thing is, it isn't exactly so important that your room is in order, although it is. What's important is that you learn how to distinguish between chaos and order, and to be able to act in a manner that produces order. Set the bloody place up so that when you walk in there, you think, Jesus, a civilized human being could really live in here. And then every time you walk in there, your room will remind you that the proper way to behave in there is to behave as a civilized being. Responsible, intelligent, forward-looking, articulate, and reliable and all of that. And that's what your room should tell you. So set the damn thing up until that's what it screams at you when you walk in there.